As a video creator, oftentimes the most dreaded part of the creation process for me is video editing. Editing a video that took an hour to script and shoot could easily take 10 hours to edit. And frankly, it just gets really tedious. Especially when a large portion of the editing process is just editing out silences, editing out bad takes, and just sort of doing the rough cut. And obviously, the more amount of footage you have, the much longer this takes. I personally feel like video editing is the biggest barrier to entry for creators and marketers marketers to make videos consistently. So today I'm going to show you guys how to speed up the editing process through three things. Number one, scripting. Number two, automating repetitive tasks. And number three, creating your own video templates that you can use again and again. In the fast paced world of video, time is precious. That's why scripting is an underutilized tool for video creators. A well-crafted script serves as a roadmap for you or an external editor, guiding you through the editing process with clarity, and direction. And that's for three reasons. Number one, by scripting, you are reducing the amount of footage that you'll likely get. This is because any tangents, ramblings, or long-winded, irrelevant stories are kept to a minimum. And then that makes it so that you are bringing less footage into the editor, which will save you time. And it minimizes the amount of thinking you have to do while recording. Hopefully you have less takes than you would if you were sort of just rambling without any roadmap, and you'll have less dead space because you know exactly what you're trying to say. So this will significantly cut the amount of time that you spend rough cutting. Number two, scripting gives you knowledge of what b-roll and overlays are needed. When scripting a video, it can be helpful to add notes or screenshots with the overlays or b-roll that you might need to add to your video. By adding these to your script, you have a written resource that you can go back to and look at and then gather all of these overlays and b-roll all at once in one fell swoop. This can include screen recordings, voiceover, stock images, stock videos, original b-roll, and it saves a lot of time to gather all of these images and videos all at once, rather than doing so every single time you notice in your video timeline that, oh, something would be great here, a voiceover is needed here. It's really nice if you can do that beforehand. You can just gather them all up, put them in a folder, and then drag them all in. And number three, just make sure that your narrative is strong during the shooting phase, not during the editing phase. Don't get me wrong, the editing chair is a powerful place, and you can surely can construct narratives while in the editing chair. However, it's much easier to do so if you already have the narrative planned out for your video in the script. That way you don't have to spend added time recording voiceovers later or adding excess overlays because you need people to understand something on screen that wasn't really said. Now tip number two, automate repetitive tasks. It's really important to look for opportunities that you can automate in your workflow. There are many ways to automate repetitive and tedious tasks inside the video editing process. With newer techniques, technologies like AI, if you are still doing everything manually from the rough cut to fine tuning videos to repurposing videos from long form to short form, you're really falling behind. So here are some examples of how you can save time in each phase of the editing process. Many people spend hours doing the rough cuts for their videos, especially if you have a lot of footage, just taking out all the silences and repeated takes can take a whole lot of time. But there are AI tools now like Smart Cut, which can do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So this is the Kapwing editor. As you can see, this video has a lot of dead space. So first thing I can do is just go to the Smart Cut tool and then it highlights all of the silences and then I just click done and boom, the video went from four minutes and 44 seconds to two minutes and 32 seconds. And now that the clips are all cut up automatically as well, it makes it much easier to just go through and listen for the best take and delete all the other ones. All right, so that took me about a minute, and now that video went from four minutes, 44 seconds to one minute. Next, I'll show you how to save time by making finer tunes to videos. So number one, something that's really useful is when you can just make one edit to one clip and then copy the effects and paste the effects onto other clips so they all look the same. So for instance, I can make whatever edits I want. I'm gonna drag this out so that it's more zoomed in if I wanted to be closer. I'm going to up the saturation because my skin's looking a little dull. And then what I can do is I can just right click on that video clip, click copy modifications, and then select all the rest of the clips 
and then right click and click paste modifications. And now you can see that the crop is the same for all of the other clips as well. So it's really easy to just edit one clip and then apply them to all the clips, which is a great way of saving time. I oftentimes use this as well for things like moving zooms. So I can just go on a clip and then go over to the effects tab and add a moving zoom. And so now you can see it moves. Once again, I can copy modifications. And let's say I just wanna do it to this clip right here. I can then just paste the modifications and now you can see that's a moving zoom as well. Also, you can do things like add smart B-roll, which will automatically detect the words in your transcript that feel most relevant and pull B-roll for you. So how to do that, you just go to the images tab, go to smart B-roll, and then it will analyze the transcript and pull a bunch of images that you can add into your project. So you can go ahead and then click add all images if they're relevant, or just go ahead and click on the ones that you want. I will go ahead and click the plus button and it adds it in where it detected that part in the transcript. Lastly, if you aren't automating subtitles at this point in 2024, you've really got to get on that. Just go to the subtitle tab and auto generate subtitles. It's really the only way to do subtitles at this point. It automatically times it with your words and you can make any changes that you want. However, probably the most useful automated tasks now are converting long form content into short form content for things like TikTok. Now how it works is you upload a long form video and then it will create like five to 10 short form videos from that long form video based on what it thinks the best part of the transcript is. It'll resize it, auto subtitle it and get it all ready for social platforms in just a couple clicks. So to do that, you just go to repurpose content, then you upload a long form video. I'm gonna choose this sample video that is of me in a podcast. Then you just wait for that to process. And then as you can see here, it comes up with a bunch of short form videos that are pulled from the long form video. So yeah, as you can see, it gives you a bunch of videos. So it pulls a bunch of videos that are pretty much ready for socials without you having to do anything, which is really nice. And you can make batch edits as well. You can go up here and change the sizes if you want a different size. Change the subtitle style here. Turn speaker focus on or off. So if you have multiple speakers in the video, it will, whenever one person is talking, it'll switch to the other person that is speaking or add things like waveforms and things like that. However, if you want to make specific edits to it, so let's say I really like this clip of Megan talking, but it's a minute and 10 seconds and I want it to be under one minute so I can post on YouTube shorts. All I have to do is just click edit as project over here and then it puts it all ready into the timeline so I can continue to edit manually. And as you can see, it also has speaker focus. So it goes from Megan to me. So I just deleted a clip at the end that I didn't really feel was necessary. Now it's 55 seconds and I can just click export and have it ready in like a minute rather than putting in hours repurposing content for your podcast, your stream, your long form videos, interviews, things like that. And finally, number three, utilizing brand templates. One of the best things you can do to speed up the time it takes to edit your videos, especially if your videos are consistent and sort of have a distinct formula is create your own video templates. By creating a template, you can simply open the template. Then you already have all of the assets that will remain constant in your videos, the same like logos, lower thirds, any overlays, music, things like that. And then simply replace the placeholder content with the new content that you're uploading. So to do this, all you would go ahead and do is go into your brand kit in Kapwing up here, then click brand template and open a new one and then start making your template. So for instance, I might make sure that this clip is only one minute and resize the canvas into vertical. Then I could add my logo to the corner to make sure that that stays in the video if I want that. I could add text at the bottom with my social media handle or my email if I'm trying to get people to uh, reach out to me. So now I have this template and then when you open a new project, you can go to the templates tab on the left here add in your brand template and just take that video that's the placeholder right click it and then click the replace button then upload whatever video that you might have that you want to replace it with so i'll go ahead and replace it with this video and now i have this same template just with a different video on it so i could have the same logo the same overlays the same text the same music if i added music to a brand template and this video is all ready to go so you can see making brand templates can be super easy if your video is in a specific or repetitive format. This allows you to save time by creating consistent styles across all of your content.
content without having to start from scratch. So it's really great for brands as well who have multiple people working on videos when you want everything to look really similar and cohesive. This is another great option for that. So yeah, you guys, between scripting, automating repetitive tasks and using and creating templates, this is how I save a lot of time as a video editor so I can get out as much content as possible. I hope this video helps you hit your goals both in terms of cadence and posting consistently and also gives you more time to edit even more creatively without having to do the tedious task. So you guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.